it's time for a rebrand. <laughs> That, that just didn't feel right, did it? No, I didn't think so. Let's change it up. That intro that you saw at the beginning of this video, that is gonna be the last time that that intro will be used unless I like refer back to it at some point. Also, if you don't have a spot to clip on your shirt a mic and you're wearing a hat, you can just clip it up here. And there you go, you get some decent audio. Um, although it does look a little funny having just a full lav mic wireless pack up there. But you know what, it does the trick. But we gotta change that intro. I'm thinking we gotta add more to it. I've started doing some personal development stuff on this channel, so I wanna include that in there as well. So right now it's just photography and cinema focused and it's uh, it did what it was supposed to do for the beginning of this channel but i think i need to change it up quite a lot since the inception of this channel back in the summer of 2020 a lot has changed and i've started filming a lot more behind the scenes content for a lot of my shoots so i think i'm going to start there for some of it and then we're going to take some different photos maybe add some overlays i think adding in some texture could be cool using some different graphic elements i think that could lend really well to the overall intro and we'll find some good music and throw that in there as well now without further ado let's actually get looking at some stuff to figure out what exactly the vibe is here thinking something pretty upbeat maybe something a little heavier than what i had before We'll see what we can find. Okay, I think I may have just found it already. It was like the second or third song that I even found. Are you gonna focus on my face? And it was the exact type of thing I was looking for, the beat I can edit to really well. So I think I can have a lot of different shots going there and still keep it nice and short. I also, I want to emphasize more of the work hard, rest, rest often, often bit that I've started implementing more because I say it at the end of every video and I started doing this a little bit into my first year on YouTube and that's kind of become my thing. And it's something that I literally say it at the end of every video. So I think putting that in the intro could be cool. I also added it into the banner as you'll see. So I think just adding that in there will help create a unified thing. Just like that, we are rendering. That actually took quite a bit longer than I thought thought it was quite a few hours. My first intro was definitely a lot quicker than that. But also when you see the difference between the two, you'll instantly know why. I'm actually pretty proud of this. I don't even know how it looks yet though. So based on it basically taking up all the RAM it possibly could on my computer. So for the first time, let's watch this together. Work hard. Rest often. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling good about that. Let me know your thoughts down below as well as what you thought on the creation and rebrand of all of this. It's something that I've had in the works for quite some time now, but I just had to figure out how to do it the right way and something that felt authentic to me. So when I got these photos back from my friend Michelle, who is also a photographer. We were doing like a spec shoot lifestyle kind of thing. When I got the photos back from her shooting me, cause she used to do photography for quite a while. I was actually super pumped on how these look. If you've been following me for any length of time, you do know that I'm also a model in addition to being a photographer, but these photos just feel super authentic to me and really align with the feel and the overall vibe that I'm going for with my videos these days. I think it just fits my overall channel a lot better and how I've progressed in this whole YouTube environment. And this is really a lesson on keeping things consistent too, keeping things cohesive. I have elements of my banner in the intro that also are from the same shoot that my profile picture is from. So there's that and it's something that I can use for a long time because I don't really plan on changing my look that much and the intro keeps your attention more there's more going on but it's also more to the point and shows you who i'm about there's a little higher energy 
there's a lot more to it. There are so many more layers and that's why it took so long between the sound design, the masking, the overlays, everything just to give it really that polished feel that I think the first one was great as an initial intro, but the more I've progressed on the platform, I feel like I need something that reflects that and reflects where I'm trying to go. Because at first it was like, okay, this is cool for, you know, you're starting a YouTube channel, this is something there, and there's just a static image at the back end of it all. But now it's like, okay, here I am, this is what I'm about, this is who I am, and you get a, more of a feel from it. It feels more authentic and more honest at the same time. And I'm just super, super happy with it. It was something where I thought before, it just, it just kind of fell flat a little bit and it's feeling a little stale. So I'm really pumped to be releasing this whole rebrand and showing you guys the restructuring of what an actual YouTube channel even looks like. Because like I said, I've had this for two years and this is the real first time that I've done I'm doing any of this. You have to look at your overall brand, the font choices, the styling, the color palette, the overall look, feel, and vibe that you're going for. I wanted something that was kind of hard hitting and energetic, but also down to earth at the same time. And I feel like that really was achieved here. Something both grounded in reality, but also artistic and modern and clean, but also a little rough around the edges. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And it's really been an interesting experience to go through in revamping a YouTube channel, giving it a complete makeover is what this was. Like all my videos are gonna now follow this, this path and I feel like this is defining kind of a new era for me on YouTube. And I'm excited to see where this all leads. And I'm so grateful for any of you that are along for the ride. So this is what it looks like to completely make over a YouTube channel. At the start, I didn't have an idea of who my brand was as much to really put that much into it. But now I definitely know who I am. I've discovered myself more as an artist on this platform and as a creator. And I'm just super pumped to share that with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment, especially if you have been looking at doing a YouTube channel rebrand, if you're just curious about branding and all that sort of stuff, it's something that's super interesting to me and I'm really happy with how this has all turned out. Subscribe and hit the bell for all future videos. Work hard, rest often, and as always, I will see you on the next one.